Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm going to do an unboxing, inspection, and then application of this laser distance meter by Milesy. Milesy makes just outstanding different tools, um, really uh, intricate, attention to details, fun to use. I mean, they are like iPhone class tools. I'll be doing a video on this. This is their Milesy thermal imaging camera, the TP2+. Plus. This just snaps onto the back of your camera, or it can be used... Um, as handheld with your camera as a screen. Um, excellent attention to detail and performance. I'll get to that. In the past, I did a video on this Milesy um, uh, distance meter here, laser distance finder here. It's different than the sound ones. You know, in the old days, you used to have sound. Now you use lasers. It's kind of fun. Here's my old Ryobi with the sound. Took a 9-volt battery. I got this with a kit of Ryobi tools. Still have it. It's the only Ryobi tool I think I own. Um, but anyway... So on something like this, the the uh, attention to detail, the screen, the way this thing works, um, just fabulous. You can check out that video. But anyway, so let's go ahead and crack this guy open, see what we're in for here. Um, where is it made? Well, like most electronics here, um, this is the, uh, the country of origin. Um, let's see, you can see the touch screen. That's what I'm really excited about. 330 feet. I mean, I was excited about this. This DeWalt, I think, goes out to 100 feet or something like that. 100 foot. There it is. Um, but 300 feet. I mean, you, I, some of these go out to, I think, 200 feet. 165 on this one. So 300 feet. Now we're starting to get into almost uh, laser range finding. Whoops. You know, like this. This goes out to 1,600 yards, essentially one mile. Um, but it's the same technology. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Beautiful box. What does that say? Space Master. Um... Has a similar uh, case to my earlier uh, Miles E. Let's take a look. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to take a break and charge it up. Wow. That is elegant. Let's see. I'm just pushing a button. Ooh, look at that screen. Holy moly. That is gorgeous. Not sure if it's picking up something there. Yeah, there's a little, there's a laser there coming out of it. Uh, it's got, looks like there's a charging port that's similar uh, to how this one was as well. Good design. Lanyard holder there. Looks like this one's got a flashlight it's beeping at me. But anyway, oh, magnet. I just picked up. Yeah, look at that. It's got a magnet on it. I'm going to read through it and then get back to you here. But this is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Can I go through a menu here? 1930 seconds. Wow, that's good resolution if it's accurate. I assume it is. Measuring functions. Yeah, I got a lot of lot to do here. LED light switch. There we go. But I will uh, do some study and come back and we will see how this goes. So let's take a closer look at the D9 Pro's features. Uh, Every time I use this, it's just reminiscent of, uh, you know, a smartphone, like an iPhone. In this case, you know, the belly button down here, interactive touchscreen. You can hit that to fire it up. Once I've got it on, um, I have several different directions that I can go. One is you can use this, you know, for the feature. If I want to go into different tools, I just swipe right. Um, I, it goes, this one's in the center here, but this is single measurement. I can go continuous measurement, square area wall area, say I'm painting and I'm just standing in the room and I want to shoot the wall, uh, volume, HVAC stuff, uh, point to point, so I can stand somewhere and because of the triangle geometry built into it, the trig, it just knows. So I just point at one point, point at another point, and it tells me the distance between those two because it knows the distance to the object because it's a laser rangefinder, but it also knows the angle change there. Um, and then stake out if I'm actually laying, you know, joists or whatever it takes into consideration 
um, the thickness of the objects in between each one of those measurements. If I swipe up again, it zings back to the center, and then I can start going up. Live angle display, I'll go into that in a sec. It's pretty cool. Indirect length, standard uh, you know, trigonometry stuff there, indirect height, how tall is that tree? This one kind of threw me, the trapezium. I don't know what that is, it's above my pay grade, but um, luckily there is a very good manual here that shows all of these different things, you know, in detail. By the way, you can uh, link this to an app. Um, uh, you can, it's called Smart Life, um, show you where the link button is. But anyway, I was going through these continuous point to point, you know, all this stuff. I took college trig, that was you know, familiar cylinder volume, but then there was that trapezium measurement, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Imagine the ancient Greeks had something like this, what, how far ahead we'd be. But anyway, so excellent little manual there. So we've got the trapezium right there. We've got triangular area, circular area, and cylinder volume. So zigs back to single. Um, I'm going to choose that. I can either hold that down or hit the button there. You can see it's got the laser fired up. Now I said in feet, why why would I want feet or feet and inches? Um, I'll explain those numbers in a sec. So it kicks on. So because I've got thousandths of a foot here, that's what I'm working with. So, you know, we are backing our way into metrics anyway. We have metric money, you buy gas in tenths of gallons, we drive in tenths of miles. Oh well. So another thing is whenever I take a measurement, I can put it into a memory. Um, you know, set that in there. There it is. The, the memories are right here. I've got, say, 29 um, memories uh, in this, so I can go through this. So I could literally walk through a house, get the volume or square area for carpet, you know, or walls for paint, anything like that. And I could literally then walk out and then go through all of those different measurements. There we go. Uh, from the swipe down, you can see that we, I've got uh, my different settings. There's the link to turn on the, the connection with Bluetooth, text size. I can turn on or off the beep. That little green circle under there tells me that I can use this button to activate whatever the choices are. I'm going to turn it off there. Here's the timer. Um, I've got a five second timer. Three, five. Uh, I'll set it for three. What the three does is it actually gives me three seconds to take the measurement. Because sometimes, you know, you're really quick because of the activity of this, you know. <laughs> and and then you push it and it's like, oh, wait, I'm not level or I'm not pointing it in the right spot. So it gives me that countdown. Um, and then you can zing through some other stuff on there. Uh, anyway, so what do we have? Uh, a pretty sophisticated tool. Lots of of potential, lots of features, um, and it's always nice to have a light up built into on something, two settings. So that's what I'm working with with the uh, Miles, Milesley D9, uh, D9 Pro. I'm going to probably revisit this because I was going to do more with uh, some of my others. Um, I was thinking, you know, sometimes uh, these make more sense actually overlanding. You need to know distances from something, the length of a vehicle. It's a whole lot easier to use uh, something like this than a tape measure at times, especially if your tape measure isn't long enough. Um, d anyway, distances, heights, uh, but this for, you know, a single use tool that does all sorts of stuff well beyond what probably most people even need. I'm impressed. Um, anyway, put a link to the Misley site below, but uh, can't wait to uh, show you their thermal camera too. So anyway, with that, dock out.